Ooh, all right, everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so just finished recording my Yone of the Dawn Volume 13 uh, video, so we're going to dive straight into Volume 14 here. Uh, just a couple of quick channel and extraneous things before we dive into it. Uh, the first being one of my good friends, the Black Manga Critic, is finally getting back uh, to recording content on his channel. Uh, so if you don't follow him already, please do give him a like, follow, uh, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff, because his content really is good. Uh, so if you're looking into, you know, content similar to mine that's insightful, uh, thoughtful, political, all that good stuff, definitely go give him a follow, uh, you know, tell him welcome back. Uh, link his channel in the description below. Uh, with regards to that, after that, like I said on my Fear of the Dawn Volume 13 video, I expect Volumes 13 and 14 to be uploaded to the channel today. I'm also going to try to get to the Kaiju and Spy Family chapters today as well. Uh, if I don't get around to that, it should be out by tomorrow at the latest. Uh, that might be what I do as well, because the Shonen Jump chapters are being released tomorrow as well. They're a day late this week. Uh, I think it's because of a holiday or something else, but uh, yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, so the One Piece review will also be delayed till then. Uh, so look forward to those. And hopefully by next week, early sometime, I'll also have uh, Yone of the Dawn Volume 15 and 16 out. Uh, I'll probably have a channel update out next week as well, so look forward to that. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to dive straight into it with Yone of the Dawn, Volume 14. And we have, I don't need the story thus far. Yeah, so we're going to go straight into it with Chapter 77, A Town Sinking in Drizzling Rain. And you see Water Tribe Territory. Surrounded by bountiful greenery and water, this is the most exquisite place in Koka. Visitors come from all over to see it. And you see like just a little palace with some... Uh, Lotus is floating in the foreground. And you have, and his people are peace loving as gentle, and his people are peace loving as gentle as swirling water. And you see Water Tribe, the port of Shishen. And you see it's just like a dreary looking place with rain just coming down. A little bit like Vancouver, I assume, in fantasy form. Do you have a room for the night? Cheapest one that'll hold seven people, huh? It's like, sure, we have space. That'll be 600 rin per person. And you see Yona and Ko are completely soaked as Yon says, thank you. It's like, these lands are said to be so lush. It's too bad. I've been looking forward to this, but it's way too, it's too rainy to see much. And Jay Hu's like, there's a certain poetic elegance to this place when it's brimming with rain, though. Even if we're all drenched to the bone. And Huck's like, huh. So this is Shishen, the water tribe. Uh, the water tribe has plenty of port towns besides this one, right? And Yun's like, yeah. After we left the marketplace, I overheard some people talking. They said the coastal areas of the Water Tribe territories have been unsafe lately. And Yona's like, aren't Water Tribe people known for being mild-mannered? Things here don't feel unsafe to me. And Jayha's like, plenty of outsiders pass through port towns and bring trouble with them. It's not uncommon on any tribe's lands. Either way, in all this rain, we won't be moving on right away. Let's get some rest. Jayha, yay! As all the dragons are just getting unchanged, dressed, and changed so they can dry out their clothes. And Yona's like, I'd like to change too. Could you all give me a moment? And you see them all just hastily turning their backs as Jaya just grinning like a sleaze. And uh, Huck just grabs his ponytail and like, you too, Jaya. I was like, hmm? And he's like, hey, why don't you stay and help her, Huck? It's like, if I even joked about that, she'd take a swing at me. It's like, oh, I'm jealous. She'd never do that to me. Huck's like, what's wrong? It's like, nothing. He's like, why am I taking this so seriously? It's like, am I a child? It's like, I have an idea. Since we're stuck here, why don't we go out for a bit? It's like, where to? And Jay was like, the Red Light District. The Water Tribe is renowned for its elegant, sophisticated beauties. Having come all this way, we should indulge in the sweet fruit around us. It's one of the pleasures of adulthood. And Huck immediately is like, count me out. And Jay was just like doing a little dance and he just... Turns around and goes, Huck, just shakes his head. It's like, Huck, 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 Huck. It's like, believe me, I'm well aware of how devoted you, how devotedly you love Yona, but it's not healthy to deprive yourself too much. <laughs> and you see Huck just smashing his face into his fist into his face, going, shut up or I'll make your eyes even droopier. It's like, anyway, why ask me? Why not drag your fellow dragons along? And you see Jaha going, there's something different about them. You understand, don't you? And you see him just smiling as they go, pure and innocent. 
It's like, okay, yeah. It's like, it'd be the most fun if you came along. And Yona's like, came where? And Jay was like, for sure, a shop full of girls. And Hawk's like, you. And Yona's like, see you later then. He's like, I'm not going. And she's like, really? And Jay Ha just kind of looks down for a moment before he goes, honestly, I'm going to head out on my own. And Yona calls out, Jay Ha, be careful. And you see him heading out with an umbrella. And you can see he goes, oh, this isn't like me. Why do I feel so awkward around a kid like her? These feelings come from my dragon blood, not me. They're not real. And you see him heading out. Huh. And you see as he's walking by a house, you see someone looking very tweaky and gone, kind of watching from out one of the outside one of the windows. You see, huh. Between all the rain and it being dusk, I didn't notice at first, but there's something very wrong with this town. And you see, hello there, mister. You must be soaked. Care to come in out of the rain? As these two ladies proposition him. And you see inside, he's just smoking a pipe as they're just gazing at him with some adoration. And they go, lovely. Are you a traveler? Where are you from? It's like, that's a secret. It's like, what sweet incense? It's like, this type's popular here in Shisen. It's marvelous, marvelously relaxing. Ooh. And you see Jeha going, oh, and he glances over at uh, the blonde lady nearby. And you see that her nails are looking very, very ragged, as if she might have been chewing on them, I think is the implication. And she kind of tries to hide it under her robes as Jeha notices. And it kind of gently grabs her hand and brings it forward. Ooh. Boy. And you see him just taking a little file, kind of like shaping it up nicely for her as he puts a little balm on them. And she's like, um... And then the other lady goes, My, her nails are in dreadful shape. Off-putting, aren't they? And she's looking all in Paris as Jeha goes, Not at all. I simply want an excuse to touch her hand. And she's just like blushing and smiling at him. She looks at her hand and goes, So pretty. And you hear it, Ah! He's like, hmm? What was that? He's like, oh, a patron in another room, that's all. <laughs> Perhaps he's had too much to drink. And as Jeha's going to investigate, uh, the dark-haired woman goes, don't worry, this always happens. Jeha's like, someone's been watching me. Yeah, never mind that, mister. Can we interest you in some delectable rice wine made here in the bountiful land of water? And you see the blonde girl's kind of just offering him a drink and she's shaking very nervously as he goes, no. Not only me. Someone's watching these girls, too. Captain Gigan, this place feels as if its darkness might run even deeper than that in Awa. And you see, as she pours out the drink, Jeha is lifting it up to the cup up to drink. And the blonde girl goes, wait! And the dark girl goes, what? All right, Arin, what are you doing? And she grabs the cup to so water drink from it. And Jeha just snatches it back and goes, it's all right. And he downs it and goes, ah, delicious. Your local rice wine is exceptional. Thank you. And he drops off some payment before he goes. He goes, ah, oh, I knew it. Some kind of drug. Those girls are addicted to whatever it is. That must be how the shop distributes the drug to its patrons. Or it's more likely that this entire town is. And you have a rattle tump tump tump. And he's like, someone following me? I need to hurry and get away from here. I can escape quickly as I, if I jump. And as he leaps into the eye, or into the, eye, into the air, you see like everyone's kind of, everything kind of getting fuzzy around him. He's like, what? The ground, everything around me is warping. My body, my head, ah, it's like, feels like it's gonna split open. And it's the scream, it kind of comes crashing down. You have Jeha, are you still insisting that you want to leave the village? Of course, master. Nothing can keep me here. I'm gonna run away. Dragons, destiny, I don't care about any of it. It's like you fell out of the sky. Who are you? You'll do anything if I let you stay, will you? you stupid snot-nosed kid. It's like, huh? What is this? Is my life actually flashing before my eyes? It's like, I'm cold. It's like, no. I've get, still got so much living to do. It's like, so cold. It's like dying because I drugged myself and jumped badly would be too stupid for words. 
It's a cold. So cold. It's like, I need to get back quickly. Oh, and you see him thinking about Yona and Cozy. He goes, Ah, I see. My home already lies there. And you see the next thing he faces, Yona's worried face. And he goes, Yona. It's like, Jay, are you all right? See, you know, the others said you were acting strange. He's like, this coldness is fading. It's like, ah, what should I do? Even if I feel this way because my dragon's blood is forcing me to, I want nothing more than to be at your side. You have chapter 77 end. You have chapter 78, Nadai, the lurking poison of Shishen. You have, it hurts so much, as if every bone in my body is slowly being crushed. You have, ah, and the thud. And Huck, how's Jeha? Is he all right? So he's thrashing about. I would guess he's been drugged. And uh, Yun's like, I'll examine him. Let me inside. And Yona's like, I'll help too. He's like, no way. It's too dangerous. Wait out here until I say it's okay. And you see Huck going back inside as he goes, I doubt he wants anyone to see him like this. And you see Jeha just kind of gritting his teeth as he's trying to sweat the drugs out of his system. And you see as he wakes up the next day, finally feeling back to his normal self. You see, no, Yona's kind of falling asleep beside him, watching him. And uh, Huck just gives him this look of, like, disdain. And he's like, there's no call to give me such a scary look. I haven't stolen Yona from you. He goes, you idiot. I'm not worried about that. How could you be that reckless? He just grinds the stub of his glaive into his face. It's like, I can't believe you went to the red light district and someone drugged you. It's like, huh? Are you mad? It's like, no one drugged me. I chose to take it. It's like, well, no matter why you did that, you shouldn't have. It's like, sorry. And you see Yona coming awake going, Jeha, you're awake. Are you all right? He's like, of course. And as he tries to pull himself up, you see his hand still shaking. So Huck just kind of forces him back down. He's like, lie down. It's like, that's right, lie down. Get some rest. <laughs> And you see that both uh, Gija and Yona just have these deep circles under their eyes because they haven't been sleeping. They have woefully underslept. It's like, you should too. It's like, we tried to make you vomit whatever you drank, but it didn't go well. And Huck's like, I punched you in the gut and everything. So that certainly explains why I feel so battered. It's like, hey, just be grateful it wasn't the white snake. That was our idea, first idea. But we thought it might kill you, so I did it instead. He's like, a punch from you would still kill most people. It'd just mean I was beaten to death instead of dying from drugs. It's like, if it's a powerful drug, you might have symptoms later on. And j Hall's like, I'll be fine. This isn't my first time. They're all just looking at him like, you're used to weird drugs? It's like, kidding, kidding. And he's like, has been in plenty of dangerous situations before. It's like, j Hall's kind of dangerous, isn't he? He's like, huh? Dangerous, dangerous. It's like, I don't think we should let him go outside. It's like, huh? So like, we need to train him not to ever do something this stupid. It's like, huh? It's like, shall we tie him up? It's like, huh? It's like, anyway, let's put him to bed for today. It's like, want me to knock him back out? It's like, I have needles for that. It's like, hey, wait. In my current condition, that'd be... And here's another scream. Like, ah! I'm oh, sorry, that was, a, that was him screaming as they knock him out and he wakes with a start. He goes, they actually did knock me out. And you see that they've wrapped him up in rope and tied him up. The terrifying kids. It's like, where are Yona and the others? And you see, oh, and you see Sinha sitting nearby with his knees curled up watching him. He's like, Sinha, where is everyone? And he's like, outside. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, keeping watch and standing guard. I'm to keep an eye on you in case you have withdrawal symptoms and go berserk. So the only reason I'd go berserk would be being trapped in this tiny room with you watching me. So when are the others coming back? It's like, I don't know. They said they'd go check out the shop you went to yesterday. And you see with a shink, he takes out one of his hidden daggers and cuts the rope with a snap. And Sinha goes, oh, it's like Sinha, stand aside. Oh, actually, all right. Never mind. All right, so Paige, I hadn't thought something, but... And you see, as they're investigating the town, you have Jeha collapsed around here last night. And you see Yona notices something, and Yuna, as Yun asks, What's wrong, Yona? It's like, I feel like someone is watching us. It's like, huh? Did I imagine it? And he sees Yuna going, Young lady, there's something over here. And you see a body face down in the nearby river canal. And you have, 
Is he dead? What happened to him? So all the rain yesterday probably made him slip. Move aside, I'll get him out of there. And you see they pull the body up onto shore. And Yun's like, that person's nails were discolored and his teeth were falling out. Well, so assuming that's what was up with the uh, blonde girl that J.R. saw was her nails were probably uh, discolored from the drugs. And his teeth were falling out. Would drowning cause that? And Hawk's like, something's wrong with the people here. Someone just died, but no one seems shocked. They aren't even phased. And again, nearby, you hear someone screaming and yelling. And as they go to investigate, it's like, what's the matter? You have stop, stay away, don't kill me. It's like, calm down. It's like, don't scare him, White Snake. It's like, you're blaming me? And you see he looks like another drug user who's kind of scratching at his face as he's suffering from symptoms. As uh, Yun goes, it's not your fault, Gija. He's not in his right mind. It looks like he's experiencing the same thing Jeha did yesterday. Yona's like, what's going on with this town? And you see someone going, you there, are you travelers? You have yes? Like, you shouldn't stay in this town for very long then. Be on your way quickly. And it's like, uh, what's going on around here? It's like, you saw that dead man, didn't you? It's like, was he addicted to something? Yeah, the corpses of those who've died from that stuff aren't exactly rare here. And Yun's like, I heard this place was unsafe, but I had no idea it was due to drugs like that. Yeah, she shends better than most. Some places along the coast of the Water Tribe are far worse off. It's like, even worse than here? And why along the coast? And Jeff, because of the coast. The Kai Empire, or more accurately, South Kai merchants, are flooding Water Tribe port towns with a drug called Nadai. It's like, South Kai? It's like, Nadai. I've never heard of it. It's not common elsewhere in Koka. That's why it took so long for its danger to become apparent. When you first take it, it gives a feeling of euphoria and dulls your sense of pain. But eventually it leaves you hallucinating and in agony. The combination turns people violent. Yun's like, is there a way to deal with it? One of our friends was drugged. And I don't know if this is a merchant or just another guy, but uh, the town guy goes, What? So the only options are to make him vomit immediately or have him endure the intense withdrawal symptoms. And Huck's like, maybe I should have punched him harder. So like, once someone's addicted to Nadai, they'll do absolutely anything to get it. Those South Kai merchants have been spreading Nadai to take advantage of addicts. Before I knew how bad it was, countless people here were past the point of no return. And Yun's like, you don't seem to have taken it. Aren't you going to run away? Oh, as a merchant, yes. The merchant goes, I've been a merchant here all my life. Whatever happens, this is my hometown. I can't just leave. Of course, the South Kai folks have stretched their influence and ruined my sails. And Gija's like, the Water Tribe lands are supposed to be peaceful and beautiful. I had no idea as people were so afflicted. And Yona's like, let's investigate more. And you see someone just grabs her on the shoulder. And it's Jeha, and he goes, Jeha! Oh, and Sinha! You see, Sinha just grabbed him around the waist, tried to stop him and slow him down. He's like, it was a brutal game of tag. An epic battle between my leaping ability and his keen vision. And so, poor Sinha's like, sorry, Yona, I couldn't stop him. And she's like, Jeha, you shouldn't be up. You shouldn't be here either. And he goes, stop poking around in this town's business. It's too dangerous. She's like, Jeha, it's like, what's poisoning this place? runs even deeper and is more damaging than what happened in Awa. We should leave right away. If you're not careful, you could die here. And Yona just shakes her head as he clenches his fist and goes, Listen to me! Even if I tried to stay out of danger, this would eventually threaten... Oh, no, sorry, this is Yona, I think, continuing. But even if I tried to stay out of danger, this would eventually threaten the whole kingdom. It's not just Shishen. The entire coastal region of Koka is at risk. This could threaten Captain Gigan and the others in Awa too. I can't ignore it. I'm traveling to fight back against the things harming our citizens. And I have an extra grudge against Nadai for how it hurt you. And he's just like, putting it like that isn't fair. It's like, fine. It's like, That's right. I should have known better than to think I could stop her. And <laughs> Hawk comments, it's unusual to see you so emotional. And he goes... I was careless, turning desperate and trying to stop someone from following their own path. It's like when I'm with her, I do all sorts of things that aren't like me. 
it's a problem. And Huck goes, Given all the unusual things I saw from you last night, nothing can surprise me now. It's like, that's harsh, Huck, harsh. And you see later as uh, Yona look, takes those, like another double take, and you have Gija going, what is it, your highness? He's like, it's nothing. He's like, I knew it. I can still feel someone watching me. And you see a dark-haired someone disappearing around a corner. And then you have the city of Suiko, water tribe, Suiko Palace. And you have, welcome back, Lady Riri. How was she, Shen? And you see Lady Riri. Ooh, might have a new fave character. And you see this dazzling raven-haired beauty going, it was easy, of course. I'm not afraid of some town full of junkies. And our handmaids assume her like, you're all teary, you poor thing. It's like, oh, hush, I'm just sweating. And you have Ayura, Tetra. Even without you, I was able to get some information. It's like, naturally, my lady. It's like, I saw a suspicious group of seven people. A green-haired man who was wearing Kai Empire clothing. It's like, I'm sure he's a South Kai trafficker. Maybe you should report that to General Jungji. It's like, I can't trust father. I'm going to look into them myself. You have chapter 79, just watching. And you have Ayura, Tetra. I almost feel like those two are named after fish. It's like, are you here? It's like, did you call Lady Riri? And you have, I'm Ayura. That's well, Ayura's the dark haired one. Tetra's the blonde. And you have, ah, it's like, Ayura, where'd you come from? You made more modifications to my room, didn't you? See, like, one of those hidden panels she kind of puts her back against and kind of just uh, swaps into the room. And you have, uh, and Tetra, how long were you lying there? It's like, I figured you'd call for me any minute. It's because I'm already in there for a while. It's like, well, that makes this simple. We're leaving and going to Shishen. It's like, but isn't that against General Jungji's orders? And Riri's like, of course when I told him there were strange people in Shishen. He locked me in here and told me not to leave. Stay put, he said. Well, he's not wrong. He's like, he is so. The Kai Empire is threatening our tribe's lands and people. My father knows that, but he refuses to act. Something's wrong with him. But I'm not like him. I will save the water... Excuse me. I will save the water tribe. Ira, Tetra, if you understand, then get me out of here. Yeah, water tribe, coastal region, Shishen port. So when I was here before, I saw a suspicious group of seven people. And you have uh, Ira going, can you describe them? Like, huh, a silver-haired man, a green-haired man, and a weirdo in a mask. It's like traveling entertainers, maybe? It's like, definitely not. I saw them sneaking around town and checking things out. They were blatantly so... <laughs> and you see that they all just show up. Ah, uh, because the devil was talking about them. And you have, oh... It's like, look, that's them right there. Suspicious, right? Tetra's like, oh my, so handsome. It's like, huh? It's like, which one do you fancy, Ira? So like, I'll gladly take a bite out of any of them. It's like, uh, give me a sec, Tetra. It's like, what are you saying? They might be traffickers. It's like, looks have nothing to do with good or evil. It's like, you're not interested, Lady Riri? And you see, men are deathly dull before 35. <laughs> And she's only 17. It's like, any younger and I don't care. It's like, the men are suspicious, but I'm most curious about that girl in the midst of them. It's like, I don't see anything special about her. It's like, when I was telling them the other day, she noticed repeatedly, she's not ordinary. And Tetra's like, or perhaps you're simply bad at stealth. Look, it's not just her. And you see Sinha just staring at them. It's like, he's watching us. Now he's definitely unusual. The squirrel's staring too. He's sitting out just commenting and pointing at them. Like, oh dear, now they're all looking. It's like, oh no, hurry, run! Tetra, Ira, we have to run! <laughs> and Sinha's like, should I follow? It's like, I don't see any need, Sinha. It's like, Yona, I heard about a shop where people gather at night. Like, Thank you for checking. If we continue to investigate this way, we won't make any real progress. It's like, but it really is dangerous, right, Jeha? It's like, I won't try to talk you out of this again. But if I think your life is at risk, no matter what you say, I'll scoop you up and run. You know what I was like? I'll be careful. So, all right, let's get started. And you see later with a ah, ah, wheezing as Riri is like, we were almost caught by traffickers. But thanks to my cool-headed judgment, we dodged a terrible situation. 
that's probably enough for today. Let's head back. And you see Ira just kind of calmly watching her. She goes, you're right. You worked very hard, Lady Riri. He's, hmm, I, I know. It's like, just so. As General Jungji says, it's best if you keep to your chambers. Let's find an inn here for the night and return to Suiko in the morning. And he's here talking to her father in a flashback going, Father, awful things are happening. Why won't you intervene? And he goes, Riri, it's not as simple as that. The Water Tribe relies on many merchants. Trade with South Kai is very important. And she's like, why? Does that mean South Kai can do whatever pleases to our people? Father, can't you do anything to stop those who are harming us? This is why no one respects the Water Tribe. And he's like, I'm not like Father. And you see Tetra going, Lady Riri, this place has an outdoor bath for rent. Let's stay here. You have a, <laughs> and you see her looking down outside the inn. So you have those people again. Why are they sulking about so late at night? And she sees them, I assume, making their way into the inn across the street or close by. You have Lady Riri, I've made reservations. It's like, let's go in. You have Lady Riri? You have, they went in there. Perhaps they're selling drugs here. If I can track down the means by which drugs are being trafficked, Father might take action. Just a quick peek. I see her inside in what I assume is a bar gambling hall. And you see her just looking all innocent, taken aback by this. I said, what's this? It's just an ordinary tavern. Where did they go? And up on stage, she sees someone dancing. You have, it's that girl. <laughs> up on stage, you have Yona decked out all beautifully, putting on a little dance performance. <laughs> Yeah, it's that girl. She's a dancer? So she really is a traveling entertainer. It's like, no, I still don't know. I'll find out who she... She walks into someone with a bump and a... That hurt. It's like, make way, please. And you see this guy is looking very gaunt. And he goes, that hurt. She's like, huh? And you see everyone seems apparently captivated by her performance. As you have, listen, Yona, you're going out there as bait. Think of these drugs as an evil spirit that possesses the weak-willed. That evil digs down into the envy and resentment inside people and turns them to violence. This drug is particularly prone to inciting violence. So you're going to go out there as a happy dancer. Uh, on a dark night in this town, you'll play the part of a beautiful, happy person. You'll draw out the jealousy and the violence of the weak souls Nadai preys on. Find someone who seems likely to be using it and focus on them. All right, we'll get to, like we'll get to thoughts on this at the end. Yeah, but a night in a tavern at night in a tavern like this, human darkness is probably lurking close to the surface. If all goes well, we could learn more about Nadai from someone who's turned violent, or from someone nearby. And you have a, I feel it. This is completely different from when I danced for the village in Sen province. The air is thick with negativity and darkness. Everyone seems dangerous. And you see Riri arguing with the guy that she bumped into who's caught her by the hands. And she goes, let, let go! It's like, what a pushy drunk. It's like, who do you think I am? I said stop! And she slaps his hand away. It makes him furious as he goes, that hurt! And she's like, so stop it! It's like, no! What the hell is he doing? So apparently, I assume like he's grabbing her shoulders, he's trying to choke her, and he's kind of like hammering on her, going, let go! And with the hog and a whap, oh, god damn. He just punches her brutally in the face. You see, huh? What is this? Blood? He, he punched me. Why isn't anyone paying attention? This is horrible. I want to go back to the palace. Someone help me! And you see him gearing up for another punch. As you have Yuno going, Jeha, over there! And you see Zuno trying to run to play interference. And she goes, Father! Oh, God. And you see Yona coming to the rescue as she just side kicks him in the face and drops him with a thud. And she goes, You there, are you all right? So we have chapter 80, Getting Involved. 
uh, yeah, we have all right. It's like, can you stand? He's a Yona trying to like help her up. She's like, but my legs won't work. And so Yona kind of like hoists her up with their shoulder, over her shoulder and goes, let's get you looked at. And he's like, Ugh, as the drunk guy like tries to stagger to his feet. He's like, he got up. I thought you knocked him out. And Yona's like, guess not. I was afraid of that. He's like, why did you get involved if you're not very strong? And Yona's like, well, because your nose was bleeding. He's like, it is not. He's like, oh, hey, don't rub it. The next page that, ooh. You see some of the others have come up behind her, grabbing Yona by the trunk and kind of pulling her back. As they go, finished already, little dancer? Dance some more for us. Dance. Dance. Give us a smile. You see the claw, their fingers just like clawing at her. As Riri's like, what? And you see a bwah As you swish and a shunk and a thud. As someone I assume grabs like a bottle and slams it into someone's head. Wait. Okay, I see him as one of the drunks as well. And you see a splish kind of just like all shadowed as you see him just grinning maniacally. You see him rushing towards her with a broken bottle. He's like, ah! And Yona's like, run! And you hear a stop. Oh, you have a stop right there! As Zeno just comes flying in onto the back of them and starts choking him. He goes, run, young lady! Do you have a huh? And Zeno! This guy throws him off. You have you, fellow. If you must hit something, Zeno is right here. And you see that Riri is just kind of crying and huffing and puffing. As the other guys are kind of getting all lecherous with Yona. And she's like, let go. It's like, this is madness. These people are definitely under Nadai's influence. You have a let go or I'll crush your head. As Kija comes up behind, grabs the guy's head in his dragon claw. And it was like, Kija... It's like, let go, I said. You have calm down, Gija. These people are... It's like, Yona, can I cut him down? As Sinha's pulled his sword. You have, don't, Sinha. The drug's affecting them. You have an ow. As Huck just grabs one of his arms and crushes it and knocks him out with a punch. You have, look who's talking. You jump kicked a customer. And Jay has like, honestly, what kind of upbringing do this princess have? And you have a... I was copying you, Jeha. It's like, look, you're a terrible influence. It's like, hardly. That's why her form was so exquisite. You have Thunderbeast, Jeha, get these brawlers under control. You have brawlers is right. Everyone's joining in. Probably means they're out of drugs. And you see a wobble as people are getting thrown everywhere and staggering back to their feet. You have, are they immortal? It's like, hardly. This just proves they're die users. They have almost no sense of pain left. They capture anyone who seems to be affected by Nadai. We'll question them. It's like assuming they're in any shape to talk. It's like they're normal people, so try not to hurt them. It's like, and what about our out of control berserker over there, Yun? It's like, Gija, calm down. It's like, try not to hurt them, huh? It's like, easier said than done. And you see Yuriri kind of just cowering in a corner as all the violence is going on around her. And Yona's like, are you all right? It's like, oh, it's like, don't overdo it. Take some deep breaths. It's like, ah. Uh, and you see that she's just like completely shell-shocked. It's like, it's all over now. You're away from the brawlers. And she just breaks down crying as Yona hugs her. She's like her that night. As they're tending to her wound, she's just looking all embarrassed. It's like, Nadai or no Nadai, anyone who hits a girl deserves to die for it. Yeah, but at least her nose isn't broken. The swelling will go down in a few days. It's like, that's good. It's like, I embarrassed myself by crying in front of strangers. I'm the Water Tribe Chief's daughter. This is absolutely humiliating. And what's more, I was comforted by a girl who's no older than I am. It's like, but these people saved me and looked after my wounds. Maybe they're really not traffickers. And Yona's like, what's your name? You've been watching us, right? Can you tell us why? And she's like, she noticed. It's like, I, um, it's like, doesn't courtesy dictate that you give your name first? Your little group is suspicious. You look weird and you're investigating this town. Plus, I thought you were a dancer, but you did a jump kick. <laughs> and they're all just looking at her in surprise as Jeha just grins and goes, Yona, this is on you. You're at fault here. It's like, me? But you're wearing Kai Empire clothing, Jeha. It's like, perhaps it's Sinha's mask that stands out. And <laughs> Yuan's like, how do you see, how do you not see that we all look suspicious? And she goes, I'm Yona. 
it's a long story, but I'm traveling around the country. It's like I heard there was a drug crisis here, so I came to check it out. And you have Yona. That's the name of the princess who disappeared from Hiryu Palace. Come to think of it, I thought I heard someone call you Your Highness before. <laughs> just do. Her and Gidra just have these comically exaggerated shock faces. We're like, you heard that? It's like, yeah, she has the same name as the princess, so we all call her Your Highness as a joke. He's like, oh, that's what I presume, but it's a little pretentious, isn't it? <laughs> you see Gidra just prostrating himself, apologizing for saying Your Highness so freely. And she goes, anyway, you came to investigate the drug? What for? And Huck's like, hey, I tied up the people who were, riot who were rioting. Their addiction's pretty severe. They're not settling down. The craving's too strong. You have, and you have her kind of just going in shock again. And she's like, those people are still over there? I had no idea that Nadai made people act that way. It's like, where did they acquire it? It's like, several got it secondhand, but the rest... It's like, hey, droopy eyes. Is the place where you were drugged a shop called Suire? It's like, those guys earlier said they bought Nadai there. Looks like we've got to visit that shop, Jeha. So you never mentioned the name. Even if you don't talk, we can get answers out of them. And Jeha's like, all right. But when we go in, I want you to follow my lead. And Yun's like, that's fine. We'll barge in there tomorrow. No, I don't want the girls getting hurt. We should sneak in and scope the place out first. And Jeha Riri going, huh? You're doing what? So you said you were investigating the drug? And Yona's like, there's a shop that's handing out Nadai, the drug, to its patrons. We're trying to root the problem out at the source. Jeff, wait, she's trying to stop it herself? How could she say that? That place could be full of violent people. She wants to go there? I don't want that. I don't ever want to go through something that scary again. And you see, what's the matter? Does your face hurt? And you see her going, what's going on with her? Up close, there's nothing strange about her at all. She's just an ordinary girl. She's a traveling performer, so she must have grown up in the countryside. It's like, you're not from this town, are you? You're not from Shi Sen, so why are you sticking your neck out? You're not even especially strong, but you did that jump kick. I don't understand you. You know, like, that's true. I should train more so I can kick more powerfully. And it's like, how hard you train is not the point. You're so odd. It's like, are you going to that shop with them? And you have a yes. You have actually no. Her Highness won't be along for tomorrow's little venture. It's like, what? Why not? Of course I will. Like, it's too dangerous. And uh, Jeyoha's like, Yona, let us handle this. There's other things for you to keep an eye on. It's like, but you're going all going to fight. It's like, not all of us. Yun and Zeno aren't going either. It's like, why are you leaving me, Yun and Zeno, behind? It's like, Yona, do you know what kind of shop Suire is? And Yona looks all embarrassed. It's like, has her suspicions but doesn't want to think about it. It's like, so, this is an operation, right? You're not going there for fun, are you? And Hawk's like, no, we're not. But some things are more difficult if you're there at a shop like that. It's like, difficult? What do you mean? It's like, the operation, of course. And Jeha's just losing it as he's laughing. And Hawk kicks him and goes, stop laughing, droopy eyes. Anyway, the only ones going are me and this jerk. And White Snake, I guess. Sinha would be unthinkable. And Jeha's like, why do you guess you'll bring me? Jeha's like, ah, that was hilarious. It's like, Yona, we're not kidding. This is dangerous. We're going there to investigate, so wait for us, okay? And you see Lady Riri! Lady Riri! And you see Ayura and Tetra running up going, Honestly, we've been looking everywhere! You have Ayura, Tetra! It's like, oh gracious, did you slip off to have some fun with those men you told us about? <laughs> You're so sly! And you have Tetra, it's like, hmm? And they see her bruised face and then they get all angry and go, Oh no, this will not do at all. Which of you harmed her? I'll do three times worse to you. As one of them pulls out a sword. And she's like, it's not like that. There was a brawl. They saved me. It's like, oh. And I prostrate and go, forgive our rudeness. Thank you for looking after Lady Riri. And Yona's like, good. Your people came for you. You can get home safely. Like, I can get home by myself. Don't make fun. And Huck's like, hmm, Lady Riri? It's like, you really are all so handsome. <laughs> doing Chalk's other childhood friend and you see Ira and Tetra both looking at him with the huh? It's like Ira Tetra let's go! It's like of course and you're seeing uh, Tetra and Huck thinking that person looks familiar. 
You have Lady Riri, you must be badly shaken. Let's head back to Soiko. We see Lady Riri, Skyra, Tetra. I'm going to stay here a while longer. You have a what? Like, Lady Riri, are you certain you won't return to the palace? <laughs> oh my god. And he's here just like trying to haul her two branches in front of her face as a disguise. It's like those people say they're nothing but traveling performers, but they're going to a shop that deals with Nadai. Even if they're not traffickers, they're still suspicious. Javin, oh, you're the girl from yesterday. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> Next, you see her just planting one of the tree branches, pretending like she's planting a tree. It's like, oh, what a coincidence. We keep running into each other. Don't mind me. I'm just planting some trees. And they're like, you're the one who looks suspicious, Lady Riri. It's like, why are you all here? It's like, uh, we ran out of money, so we had to leave our inn. So we slept out here last night. And you see Jeha going, hello, Riri, Ira, Tetra. And Riri's like, you what? It's like, slept here. It's like, poor people are incredible. <laughs> it's like, you flatter us. It's like, Sinha, Zeno, that wasn't a compliment. It's like, unbelievable, you're a girl. How could you sleep out here surrounded by men? It's like, it's fine, they're all my friends. You know, it's like, we're a liable stable man. It's like, I wouldn't go that far. So let's just leave it at that. It's like, what about bugs? And isn't the ground too hard? And he's just like, bugs? So like, compared to the mountains, this is pleasant. And she's like, the mountains? She's not just a country girl, she's lived in the mountains. She's practically feral. I'm a general's daughter, we live in completely different worlds. And you have... I also wanted to keep an eye on the people who were brawling yesterday. You see that they've got them tied up nearby. You have several of them had relatives come to get them. But these folks have been like this since last night. And you see Yona giving them some water going, here's water, try to drink. And she's like, but aren't you scared? Just yesterday this man was pinning you down. It's like, yes, but he's also been weeping because he hallucinated killing his family. <coughs> I'll get, I'll get to this at the end. You have Nadai seizes control of weak-minded people. I want them to recover. None of these people want to be like this, but sometimes they lose control of themselves. And you see one of them crying for his mother. It's like, I'm sorry. It's like, why would anyone take a drug like that to begin with? And Jeha goes, for all kinds of reasons, I'd say. But the people who were drugged at Sure, the place we're heading to, were either tricked or forced into it. Yeah, if this is horrible, a single drug can destroy people so thoroughly? Can they even be cured? This is absurd. It's like, what will you do while your friends are gone? And Jiyah Yona goes, I'll wait here. So I can't be leave people alone like this. You yeah, have this girl. How can she do so much? She isn't even from here. She has no ties to these people. And you see, I'll arrange for them to be treated at a local clinic. You can't just keep them tied up indefinitely. Except, there are too many addicts in this town. The clinics are full. Do you have Ira? It's like, yes. I'll give the clinics all the money they need. I want you all to stay at the inn where we're lodging. And he was like, why? It's like, I'm repaying you for that kick last night. Accept it gracefully. Hawk's like, that's a big help, honestly. And Yun's eyes are lighting up like, she's rich. It's like, it's the least we can do after you save Lady Riri. It's like, while you're there, see if she can teach you to be more feminine. Yesterday a jump kick, today you're covered in muck. As he's teasing Yona, she's blushing like, Hawk. Like, this inn has a hot spring, I'll bet you clean up beautifully. And Jay was like, I'll just be going to that inn with them. And uh, uh, Hawk grabs him and goes, you've got an undercut of investigation to do, moron. And she goes, Hawk? He goes, we'll be right back. Try to relax while you wait. And you see, as they're all bathing together, you have... This is the most beautiful inn I've ever been in. It's like it's the oldest, most luxurious one in Shishen. So you must not have many opportunities like this. So if there's anything you want, just ask. It's like it's rare for you to invite friends, Lady Riri. It's like we're not friends. So yeah, meanwhile, Zin, Yun, Zeno, and Shin, Sin Ha are all scrubbing each other's backs. It's like, are you itchy anywhere, sir? It's like, what good fortune. It's like we're watching each other's backs. Yeah, that aside, why are you covered in bruises? It's a good question. It's like a girl's body shouldn't be in that condition. You have, I'm learning swordsmanship for self-defense. It's like, swords? A petite thing like you? It's like, I didn't say I was good at it. 
It's like, but you travel with such strong men. Why would you know how to, need to know how to use a sword? And Yona's like, they always try to protect me. I don't want to be a burden to anyone. And Tetra's like, it's no big deal. Let them protect you. I'm awfully jealous. It's like, Tetra, you're saying that aloud. Besides, she thinks back to Hawk's smiling face as she goes, I want recognition. So Tetra's like, from someone you fancy? And she's like, it's not like that. It's like, oh, come now. Surrounded by all those men, you can't tell me you don't like one of them. Who are you thinking of? You know, it's like, it's not like that, I said. And you have uh, Riri going, but three of those men have just gone to the red light district. <laughs> And there's just awkward silence. As like, men are such idiotic creatures. Don't give them a second thought. And Yon is like, it's not like that. They want to cut off the Nadai supply. It's like, there's no knowing what men are doing behind your back. Like, I don't care if they go to a place like that anyway, but right now they're carrying out a plan. I can't imagine Hawk or the others lying about something like that. And you have a, what is it, Ayura? You have a, hmm. That man, Hawk. There's something curious about him. Oh, do you have your eye on him? It's like, don't be tedious, Tetra. It's like, teasing you is no fun. But actually, I agree. To be honest, he's been on my mind, too. I have a Huck going, hmm? Jay was like, what's the matter, Huck? That girl named Riri. There's something about her and her attendants. It's like, it's unusual for you to be concerned about girls beside Yona. This is no joke, you idiot. Java, this is no time to be distracted. It's like, you're right. We should focus on our charming companions. Sakija, like, relax. Your face is so stiff. It's like I told you, I'm not used to places like this. It's like you're so pure, Gija. It's called a perfume. Reminds me of the marriage meeting fiasco at my village. It's like, uh, it's like stop, Granny. It's like, sir. It's like, oh, don't mind him. He's wrestling with something from his past. It's like that aside, Hawk, you're utterly indifferent. That's no fun. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry for not amusing you. Well, I was planning to give Yona all the details as a souvenir. Her Highness doesn't particularly care what I get up to here. And he's like, I'm not so sure. You have unrequited love? What woman wouldn't be entranced by a man like you? And Huck just glares at him as like, you couldn't keep your mouth shut. Now look what you've done. So like, would you like more rice wine to help ease your broken heart? It's like, not your problem. It's like, I'm going to strangle droopy eyes for this. It's like, broken heart. And he's looking at the attendant serving him. And he notices that, you know, her teeth seem to be decaying. And her fingernails are all in bad shape as well. And he goes, you're right. Tonight, I should think about what's right here. And you have an O from Jeha. Yeah, my droopy-eyed friend is being too loud. Let's go someplace quiet. Jeff, uh, yes, sir, right this way. And you have an oops as uh, Gija pretends, or not Gija, sorry. Jayha pretends to spill his drink goes, Oh my, I think I'm a bit drunk. So like, would you like to rest in the room to the back? I would, yes. Ah, and I'd like something special to drink. Do you have an O? Oh? It's like the Water Tribe's locally made rice wine. I had some here before. I can't forget the taste. You have, yes, sir, I'll get it for you right away. He's like, oh, could you also take some to the men who accompanied me? And you see in the room alone, he goes, a huck goes, the light's too bright. Put it out. He said, but then you won't be able to drink this rice wine. He goes, alcohol tastes just as good in the dark as he grabs the jug. And he goes, besides, I can see enough by moonlight. And you see all of them drowning the drink. And you see that they are either all knocked or they're just pretending. You have a sir? Sir? He's like, hey, what's going on? He seems to have fallen asleep. Did you get him to drink it? Like, I did. So that's strange. It's not supposed to make him sleepy. So while well, he's drunk, let him rest for tonight. And you see a creak as someone makes his way into the room and he goes, light the room. I'll check. And as he reaches for a hawk, you see him, hawk just grabbing his hand. You have a, what? You, you. And hawk grabs him in a throw and then puts a knee on his back and like uh, anchors his arms. He goes, you, so you're finally here. So you've been giving orders to these women. The, the rice wine. Didn't you drink it? It's like I poured it down my sleeve. Guess she couldn't tell in the dark. And you have a chip. What the hell? Oh, sorry. He's got a whistle in his mouth that he's trying to blow. And j comes in with a thud as he drops the other two men and goes, Oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying to signal these fellows? 
And you have Kija going, I barely slapped him. What pathetic cards. So your slaps could kill people, Gija. You see, they've tied them all up. As they go, start by dumping out all the Nadiales rice wine and the incense in the rooms. There's something bad in them. It's like I had difficulty not breathing too much of it. It's like, are these all the people who ordered the girls to dose the patrons? I checked the other dorm rooms. They don't seem to be willing to talk. It's like, don't let anyone sneak out. And you see, Sure's owner isn't here. And uh, Jeha sees the girl he met on the first day. He goes, you're... It's like, he's not here? What can you tell us? He's like, well... It's like, Arun, stop. You know what will happen if you talk. She goes, it's all right. Don't worry about me. And you have the owner sells in a die on the black market all across Shishen. This isn't the only shop he owns. It's like, where is he now? It's like, I don't know. It's like, what's his name? Can you describe him? You have, his name is Hyo. He's about 35, but he looks very young. And he has a scar on his forehead. And you see that whoever it is is running into Yona and Co. at the inn that they're staying in. And you have chapter 82, A Vow of Indomitability to Her Sword. You have, you really are learning sportsmanship, hmm? But you're not very strong as you see Yona just doing her practice swings. Chapter's like, so cute. It's like, you've got good form. It's like, really? It's like, you move very efficiently. You must have a good teacher. Yona's like, <laughs> she praised Huck. You have Huck and the others sure are late. So they went to the red light district, right? They won't be back until morning. It's like, if the plan takes that long to carry out, they're fooling you. It's like, it's not like that. You have a, <laughs> don't let your guard down, especially around handsome men like them. And you have Tetra going, I think it's wonderful that you're making friends, Lady Riri. You have what? It's like, as long as I've known you, you've never had friends. Even when you met girls your age, you get into fights with them immediately. You have, hush, Tetra, I'm not friends with this country girl. It's like, we only just met. She's right, we're not friends. Yeah, I don't need friends. You two are all the company I need. It's like, don't rely only on us. This is our job. Your father pays us. It's like, don't mention that. It's like, never mind. Look how pretty the moon is. We'll ask the inn staff for tea and snacks. Do you have a wow? It's like, <laughs> so this is kind of exciting. It's so fun talking to only to women. It's like, yeah, that's true. Like, I'll go get you and the others. Do you have a huh? So like, you're going to bring men here? But you said it was fun with just women. It's like, hold on, I've got to get t tell Tetra to get more tea and snacks. And you have Ira going, I'll go. It's like, no, no, you wait here, Ira. She goes, got it. And it's like, it's good that Lady Riri seems to be enjoying herself. And you see, as Tetra's heading back, you have, if we don't get back to the palace soon, General Jungji will have some choice words for us. What should I do? Lady Riri's so invigorated here. As a parental figure, I want to give her a little more freedom. Plus, the Nadai situation is more serious than I thought. So many people are pretending nothing is happening, but if things are this bad in Shishen, the other coastal areas must be... And you hear a stop, please! And you have an oof. It's like, please, this inn has a long-honored history in Shishen. You're selling Nadai to our patrons. If you do that, what kind of inn will we be? You see Hyo going, Ma yeah, Master Hyo. It's like, huh. My scar is showing again. Honestly, you're so worthless. If I hadn't been generously helping you out financially, this decrepit old inn would already be out of business. You're in a lot of debt. Luckily, this place has some influential patrons. Don't you think it's about time I get something in return? It's like, this all began because of you. Ever since you flooded Shishan with Nadai, things have been going downhill. Do you have an irk? As he jams his shoe into his mouth. He goes, oh shush, don't make such a fuss. It's like, sir, your voice is shrill like a woman's and your scar is showing. He's like, oh, it's like, no, just carry on as you have been and things will be just fine. And you see Tetra's listening outside. Yeah, there'll soon be a deal between South Kai merchants and Sensui. Jeff, this is a real trafficker? And he's the one behind it all? What kind of person is he? And what was with that feminine tone? I want to find out more, but this is too dangerous. I need to get Lady Riri out of here quickly. And you see one of the thugs coming up behind Tetra, going, this area is off limits to regular patrons. She goes, oh, I'm terribly sorry. I took a wrong turn. If you let me by, I'll be going. And as she tries to walk by, you see him trying to grab at her, and she tosses the tea and snacks towards him. And then she goes underneath with him, 
and slams him, I assume, in the solar plexus, then lashes out with a kick and knocks him down. She goes, oh my, well this is awkward, I've never seen someone get up from that. Is your body numb from Nadai? Ooh. And you see a shook, someone stabs Tetra from behind, and you have, my, my, I wondered if someone was here, so I made a blind stab. Did I hit the right target? She goes, you're the Nadai trafficker, but you could have stabbed your subordinate. And Hyo just goes, so? Did I just get another drug addled puppet? It's like, ugh, I loathe busty women. It's like, Master Hyo, you're doing it again, that shrill voice. It's like, oh, this is a hassle. Oh, this is a hassle we didn't need. Kill her however you please and dump her in the ocean. It's like, yes, sir. Do you have an, ah! And you see Tetra. And you see Yona and uh, Riri coming up. You have Lady Riri, run! And you have Hyo going, you can't be here. This area is off limits. Do you have Tetra? It's like, no, stand back. It's like, Yona, take Lady Riri, run. This is the one who bought Nadai to it's like the water tribe. And she goes, he's the one? It's like, this man, he has such a twisted look in his eyes. Like Nadai itself, a clinging darkness. It's like, run. It's like, we have to run. I need to get Riri out of here as fast as I can. It's like, no. I can't. If we run, these people will kill Tetra. And it was get rid of those two as well. I can't run. That means I have to fight. So he pulls out the sword. And uh, one of the other thugs goes out of the way. Swords are my department. And he kind of slams it down on Yona, tries to block. And he just forces her. He slams her down to the ground with a force. And you see her trying to wobble and stand back up. She's like, you. He's like, huh. You drew a sword, so I was wondering what you'd do with it. Yeah, stop! You can't handle him! As he strikes out again, Yoda deflects his sword with her blade. And you see them exchanging some blows. He's like, why is he playing around with her? You have, uh, I was like, Riri, he's like, stay close to me. You have cocky brat. You think you can protect her? You're barely blocking my attacks. We all know how this ends. She goes, it's true that I'm not that strong. But your strikes are slow. I'm used to attacks that are a hundred times faster and heavier than yours. It's like, Huck, tell me, I don't have strength on my side. How do I defeat someone who's stronger than me? How do I protect someone? What must I do to become strong enough to fight alongside you someday? And as the another blow comes down, she remembers him going, Your side's wide open. He's about to kick. And it goes, Duck fast. Once you dodge, strike a standing leg. So he dodges under and cuts through, uh, cuts his knee. And he drops down with, ah, my leg! You have a ch It's like, Master Hyo, permit me. It's Yona going, ah, ah. It's like, oh, look out! Oh, and you see as she pushes Rui out of the way, the guy slashes uh, Yona's back. You have, ah! You have, ah, no, this can't. Hang in there. You have, what are you doing? You knew you didn't have the strength or skill for this, so why? It's like, how can you sacrifice yourself for me? There's something wrong with you. And you know what I was like, sacrifice myself? Me? I'm fighting to survive. I'm not about to surrender to injustice like this. Yeah, she's shaking all over. She's scared too. And yet, and yet, and yet, I said I'd save the water tribe like it was easy, but I was afraid of reality. I had no determination. I didn't know what to do. Even looking at Tetra, my companion on the ground, my legs still won't move. Why is a girl like her here? I want to be like that. I want to be just like you. Alright. Uh, so I guess quick thoughts on the volume stuff. Uh, so I'll touch on the Tetra Yona, or not Tetra, sorry, Riri Yona stuff first. Uh, before we get into kind of the drug stuff. Uh, because that's a more sensitive topic. I want to talk about that uh, briefly uh, with regards to it in the volume here. Uh, so on the one hand, I like the Tetra Yona stuff. Like, I like that we're getting a new character who kind of represents, you know, how naive and sheltered Yona was, you know, very way back at the beginning, albeit, you know, wanting to more of a do-gooder uh, than I think Yona was uh, when she was still living at the palace. So we have, you know, the, the compare and the contrast to, you know, Yona from back then to how much she's kind of changed and matured and evolved now throughout her travels and then comparing her to Riri, who, you know, who's still kind of that sheltered kid 
who's kind of taken aback by like the harsh realities of what you know the common people are going through and like what you know, like how pervasive like everything is uh, in the in uh she said so like that was kind of interesting to provide uh that contrast and still like call back uh to it to kind of like you know have her act as a foil to uh yona that said i'm still very iffy and mixed so far or not supposed to, uh better word apprehensive about how they're gonna handle the drug crisis scenario Especially with all the lines about, you know, oh, you know, this affects the weak-minded people, you know, we have to keep the weak-willed people away, you know, with, like, the way they're talking about, like, equal parts, like, sympathy and, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Sympathy and, uh, not disdain is not the right word, but... Yeah, looking down on them, like, to an extent to be like, oh, you know, these people couldn't help themselves. Like, you know, like, the drug just overpowered them because their spirit wasn't strong enough uh, to be able to kind of, like, overcome and overstand it. Because that really does play into a lot of stereotypes about, you know, why people turn to drugs in the first place, why they try to find comfort in it. You know, the systemic realities they face that kind of force them into that life in the first place. How come you know, drug use is so rampant and per pervasive in minority communities, in poor, marginalized communities. And I don't really know if Yona's really going to tackle, like, those aspects of, like, tackle the systemic issues that cause people to turn to drug use in the first place. And, like, the first volume, kind of talking about, like, you know, like, the whole, oh, they're so weak-willed, we have to pity them, like, oh, you know, they didn't know better, all that left a sour taste in my mouth because like you know drug use doesn't like reflect on like a more isn't a moral reflection on a person's character and for yona to kind of go with that angle for the first part of the volume isn't really a great look uh the only reason i'm kind of withholding my thoughts right now is i kind of want to see where it develops further before kind of getting fully into uh, the criticism because I want to see if they're going to interrogate and criticize that specific kind of thought process of you know oh, the weak will like you know moral judgment kind of thought process and like delve into it a little bit deeper uh, before I fully criticize it but I feel like I had to at least touch on that fact and criticize and talk about it a little bit because again it does play into a lot of the stereotypes and tropes and I don't think so far it's like it's handled it super well even though you know even though the characters are so sympathetic to the plight and want to, you know, help them change and improve the people's material conditions. Like, the fact that they're kind of being like, you know, once the drugs disappear, like, the problem is solved kind of idea right now. Again, doesn't really sit well with me, but like I said, we'll see how that develops before I kind of, like, criticize it uh, any further in that regard. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to... Uh, really touch on or talk about this specific volume. Uh, I don't think so. Like, the whole, like, Hyo has, like, a shrill voice, like, girly voice. Again, that's also something I don't know what direction that's really heading. Like, the fact that so many characters commented on the shrill voice feels like there's gonna be some kind of, like, plot-relevant thing to it. Like, well, I don't know if that's you know, the reason for his insecurity or, like, whatever, but it just felt weird to me, like, how many times it was commented on, like, especially with the manservers being like, hey, your shrill voice is showing in, like, your shrill voice is showing in. I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, a unique identifier, like, someone that could hear his voice would immediately be able to place who it is, and that would kind of give away his, you know, his other positions or what, but, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, like, a weird outlier thing I noticed. Uh, but, yeah. Like I said, I'm hopefully it handles this a little bit more tactfully, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, like I said, I'm going to cut the video off here. Uh, as always, if you like my content, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's finally good to keep getting back uh, to Yona after a bit of a mini hiatus. Uh, like I said, look for the next two volumes uh, coming out hopefully early this week, if not by next weekend. Uh, like I said, I'm also going to try to get to the Kaiju and Spy Family chapters uh, either today, if not tomorrow at the latest. 
uh, uh, really like to get the magic subscriber number soon as well. Uh, so I'd really appreciate any help with that. Till next time, this is Ash. Talk to you all later.